All right. The easy part's over. We grew all this lovely peppers. Now the hard part, eating it before it goes bad, right? Or you learn to give it to your neighbors or you save it somehow. So in this case, we've already got over 20 pounds on our previous harvest. This thing here is huge. So we're going to weigh this and then we're going to get it ready for the freezer. And Amy's going to keep a few out for some shows because I think she's got some Mexican food on her mind. So stay tuned for those. So why don't you join us as we show you how we uh, preserve our pepper. Booyah! For those of you who have been watching the adventures of Ebu Farms out on our patio, you'll know that we planted five big Bertha Bells, a couple of poblanos, mixed uh, bell pepper plants, and Amy's favorite, these babies. Anaheim. Anaheims. So what's funny is one plant produced red and green, and the other plant I believe just did strictly green. I don't think I got one red off of it, so I don't understand that. So if there's any pepper uh, experts out there that can explain why one plant can do that, then I'd like to know. So poblanos are interesting. Uh, I haven't really uh, eaten them as much. Um, we can make, uh, we can dehydrate them. That's one way to preserve them. You can make chili powder, then it's called anchos. Otherwise, it's just poblanos. Chili Riano is just one of the dishes you can make with them. Stuff them with cheese, stuff them with meat, whatever makes you happy. We've got regular bell peppers, yum yum. Um, we've got the Big Berthas, yum yum. Those are cute. These are, the Big Berthas are interesting because you can kind of see how tall they are compared to just an average bell pepper. These ones are more roundish. They're squatty. They're squatty. A lot of them are just average like this. But it doesn't matter because Amy will basically uh, slice them up and put them in anything. She'll eat them with eggs. She'll uh, make any kind of Mexican food she wants with the stuff. They just add flavor, right? We go to the store, not much flavor. I mean, they're there, but here you have quite a bit of aroma. It's just, <sighs> just relaxes you, right? So, I will say that this has been a funky year. I think everybody can agree with that. And just going out every day and watering them and watching them grow, dealing with pests, dealing with disease, and then you end up with something like this. It's, it's really nice. So now the fun part. We get to weigh them. We're going to eat some, and we're going to save some for later. So let's get going. All right, we teared it out. You can see it's zero grams. Let's start weighing. First, poblanos. <laughs> so we're up over a kilogram already. If anyone knows what that means, right? What does that mean? Uh, we got over two pounds worth. Mountain, all right. So, all right, we were at 1.7 kilos a second ago. This is actually pretty accurate here. So, How one much? point, one point seven seven two. That's gonna be a lot of chili, Vienna. Gonna be a lot of something. Be careful. Be careful. So we're throwing in some of these. These are just regular bell peppers. These are a combination of organic ones. I had one plant that was certified organic. The rest of them I raised organic. But who knows what they did to the gene pool, right? DNA probably have to show up on a... The organic didn't get as big as that one. Well, the organic was partially messed up because we didn't top it like we did all the other ones. Because it had babies and we, we didn't want to disturb it. And it basically got hosed but who knows we also didn't really have tomato cages for it right away too and that really screwed with some, some of our plants the ones that didn't have cages didn't do as well all right so this is just the generic ones we're at 
two point, geez, once it starts, okay, we're done. 2.67 kilos. Amy hates this scale. I love it because it's pretty and it's big. It's a. I don't want the other scales. No, it's. If you got flour and you're making a mess, it's a pain to clean because of glass and stuff. But if you're gonna mail some stuff and you need to weigh it because you're doing it the old school way, right? We weigh it, put stamps on it, whatever. That looks more than two pounds. <sighs> Boo. That just looks like two pounds. See, it doesn't look like it's almost four pounds. Okay, whatever. To the rest of us people here, I think um, we'll stick with it. So these are red, right? So we're going to go ahead and throw them in here. These are Anaheims. Do all the Anaheims. I will. Anaheims are my favorite. Oh, I forgot. I got to throw some more babies. Jeez. I got to have a technicality. I left, I left some behind. No peppers left behind. So I need to reweigh the generic ones. All right. This is Anaheim's 1.73. All right. Right. I think we're on that. All right. How much is 2.73? How much weight? It's more than we can eat in a week. I'll tell you that. It's a little bit. I got to do a slight adjustment here because uh, we, got, we got these little babies that we left behind. These are going under those guys. So let's um, put him in here. We'll zero us out. Come on, zero out again. Throw these in here. All right, so that's um, almost half a kilo, just those four guys. He's like two different colors. He hasn't finished. Well, he's almost red. He's close enough. Oh, come on, don't be a hater. Oh, let's see. Let's. Tear them out first, right? So now we're doing the, what, the Big Berthas? Let's see if they can all fit in here. Just How many pounds of kilogram? 2.2. All right, we are pretty close to two and a half kilos here. We pay a buck a piece for them peppers at, at the store, boo. So, all right, he settled down, I believe. All right, let's total these up and uh, see how much they weigh, right? So, Farmer Boo, how many pounds of peppers do you have? We have quite a bit, don't we? <laughs> so, we have 3.9 pounds. In fact, let me just show you my scorecard here. We have 3.9 pounds of poblanos. All right, that's almost four. 6.6 .6 pounds of just the green peppers, just those guys in the front that were in the reds. 3.8 pounds of the Anaheims. That's these guys over here. And then the Big Bertha is this guy over here. We have 5.4 pounds. So if you do some math. So uh, we're like uh, 8.955 kilograms, right? So we're, we got basically nine kilos, right? You have any idea what that is, Boo Boo? Um, 22 pounds. You're actually pretty close. But if we're uh, playing the prices right, uh, you actually went over. So you don't win the RV and the <laughs> boat and the, you know, what's that carpet, the orange stuff that's, you know, nasty. So no, we actually had 19.7 pounds of peppers. So yay. So this was, this was a month's worth of harvest. So we already did, we already did three harvests already. We had literally eight pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, right? So we had like 23 pounds 
And this one almost was that all in one. So we did 23. So yeah, 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 yeah. 2.7. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we had a 42.7 pounds. So Amy thought we had 50 pounds, not quite. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So what are we going to do with this stuff? Besides maybe give some to neighbors? I don't know. But um, we um, have a vacuum packer. We can do some of that. We're going to do some cooking with some of this stuff. And we might dehydrate some of the poblanos and maybe make some chili powder out of stuff. So let's get started, right? All right, the fun part here, right? So what we do here is, is we're going to vacuum pack these things. You can use a food saver, or in this case, we've got a Kasori. You can use food saver bags or some rip-off bags. This one here is a pretty good company here. Uh, it's a little cheaper than uh, some of the national brands, and, it's, and they've been working really good for us. Uh, what you do is you just basically um, pull the stuff out, run it through this little cutter thing that's right here, and then uh, life is good, right? You have to do uh, two things here. One is uh, you have to seal and end. So we'll just go ahead and open this guy up, put him in there, close it, hit manual seal. It'll sit there. That light goes out, he's good. Only takes a few seconds. Pop him out. Now the fun begins. So now we get to figure out what we're going to put in here. So I've got some chopped, um, coarse chopped, what do you call it, green bell pepper. That's fine. So you just go ahead and put in whatever uh, makes you happy, right? So right there, we got about four ounces. And then you're just going to go ahead and put this in there. Close it. Hit vacuum seal. Everybody, Amy's trying to be quiet over there, but uh, she's basically uh, hitting uh, some um, commercial lemonade over there. Boo me? <laughs> you got this right, boo boo. You got your, your solo cup. All right, so we just release it, doink, and this thing's done. You can see we got a nice, good seal there. And we got a nice good seal there. It's all scrunched up. Life is good. If you have a bigger family, you're feeding more people, maybe you want to do double. It's whatever works for you. For us, we're just going to do small batches. And if we want to do a double batch, we just grab two bags. It's not a big deal. But for the most part, this works with uh, small things. What we've done already is this is uh, minced. You can see these are kind of small. And these ones are strips. So if we're doing like fajitas or something, then these are uh, pretty tasty. Separate my color. So here's some red ones that we'll be doing. And then I'm almost on the green. Obviously, it's getting kind of late tonight. I'm not doing all this. This is very time consuming. Um, we're going to keep some out for fresh use. You could use this stuff for about seven days. You know, maybe stretch it a little bit longer than that. But then after that, you're running a risk of it getting mold and then it's just gonna go bad on you, you know, in the fridge, of course. Um, freezer, you're good for months, right? Uh, food saver uh, style works really good. What I did tonight was I hit out the, the little guys, um, similar to something like this, or guys that had, the crown can be green, which is good, but if you get a crown like this that's got some of the um, brown in it, you're kind of running a risk that there might be uh, a disease in there. Um, you can get sun scald, which is just a little blemish on the outside of the skin, and that's not harmful. It may look ugly, but you can cut around it. But if you actually got a hole 
or it's just rotten, you know, you got to throw that puppy away. I found one that had a hole and I decided to cut it open just to see what was in there. I found a slug sleeping up where the seeds yeah. are. I've never seen a slug in a pepper before. But yeah, that'd be fun to give to your friends, huh? Here, here's some fresh uh, peppers. Enjoy. So we'll be wrapping this up and having a good old time. Uh, expect to see some dishes from here. Um, yum, yum, right? So this concludes our growing season for 2020, right? At least outdoor part. We have a couple of plants still out there with some, I don't know, a few peppers left. But it's getting cold out there and the leaves are already getting soft and I just don't expect them to do too much more out there. So we might bring them in and uh, throw some grow lights on them and see how long it can last. So that's another little challenge we got going on. Amy says these things are perennials, right? Once Annual. a fro- No, annuals means they come back. Perennial, they come back. Annual, they die every year. So we have a little challenge going on. These are annuals, right? Once the frost hits them, they're dead. Perennials, they come back, right? Are you sure on that, Amy? Okay. Well, Amy says she's sure. It's her show, so she's right. Bottom line, when they're dead, they're dead. She doesn't think I can keep them alive indefinitely with a grow light. And I'm thinking as long as I can maintain the temperatures they need, a.k.a. something above 60 degrees, they'll be happy. So we'll stay tuned on that, right? Amy's back there happy with her lemonade. Maybe I can pour some lemonade on our plants and they'll be happy too, right? If you like our show, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Visit our website at www.amylearnstocook.com. And on Facebook, she's got a fantastic group. What's the URL, boo-boo? Facebook something? Dot com. Slash groups. Slash groups. Slash Amy, slash Amy Learns to Cook. And we're also on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook. And we're on Instagram at Cooking with Amy. Anything else? That's it. That's a wrap. I swear, these things are losing weight. Just sitting here, it's all the way down to 2.58. How did it lose 20 grams? 25? 26? People watching this, this is like the Jenny Craig weight loss. Just sitting there, it's burning calories. That scale, are you sure that scale works? I don't know. We're at 2.55. Is it going to hold true? So, 2.555. If I can even get these little guys up in here. Mm. What? Mm. Oh, but yeah.